I'm now joined by Peter Robinson, the leader of the DUP. Now, I know you can't speak about the meeting that you've just had with the Speaker and the other leaders, but was there a sense, as there seems to be out there, that perhaps the Speakers would made a scapegoat here? Well, I, I think that uh, we will have an opportunity to be able to make our contribution to the general discussion about the Speaker's position. I think uh, the, the Speaker, in many ways, uh, is being made a scapegoat. I think everybody in the House of Commons has been responsible for the rules and procedures which exist. Uh, all of them need to uh, say sorry, including ourselves. Uh, we have allowed that system to continue, and I don't think it's the fault of the, the Speaker. You must act quickly here, though. Must you? What, what must be done? Well, I think the, the Speaker chaired a, a very good meeting this evening. Uh, the first meeting, indeed, that we have had of all of the party leaders, uh, including the minority parties. Mark Durkin and I were present at it. Uh, it uh, was a very cordial meeting, but more important than that, it was a meeting that reached agreements. Uh, and the Speaker will outline those agreements later this evening. But how do you restore the confidence of the public in Northern Ireland? Well, I think we need to restore the confidence of the public overall. Uh, politicians, I think, are somewhat uh, bruised, uh, and I'm included in that. I find myself, and my wife and I find ourselves, with the lowest expenses claims of any MP in Northern Ireland, but we are the ones that uh, are being pilloried. So there, there's a, a lot of hurt uh, in relation to the position that exists. We kept the, the rules, uh, but still uh, we got uh, lambasted because of it. But do you understand the public's anger? Well, uh, the reason we are making these changes is because we understand the, the public's anger. We are elected representatives, we are elected by the people. We are of no value unless we respond to the wishes of the, the people and hear what the people have to say. We're a listening party. That's why we are moving the changes. We still will have further proposals beyond those which have been set out and uh, agreed by the other party leaders uh, in response to what the people are saying to us. Peter Robinson, thank you.